how's it going? I hope everyone's doing well. This is Antbit Gaming. I'm Ant, and today we are jumping back into Against the Storm. <laughs> I, can I had to remember what the name of the game was then. Um, on the last episode, we were brewing some ale, and now we are delivering said ale to the Queen. And so next, we want to serve that ale in a tavern. Lovely. Okay, so this place... We just need to quickly move this dune here so we can clear these trees out. And then let's break this open. Do we want to send, let's send it to the citadel because uh, I feel like we need to, the queen's slowly getting angry with us. Tavern. We've got lots of nice space, though, which I like. Services. One tavern needs need for leisures fulfilled. Okay. Low on fuel. See, why can't I upgrade this? Maybe like when we're out of this kind of beginning section, you can um, do whatever it is. But for now, it won't let me upgrade. Low on fuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do I want to get into one of these bad areas? I think next time I run one of these, like, next time one of the woodcutting things runs out, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do that thing that I just said. Uh, I'm going to cut into this bad area. Although, slick shell brood mother. So we've got the tavern. Human. Gleeman's Tales. Interesting. Uh, just leisure for now, please. Uh, let's get rid of you. Pop you in the tavern. Small farms. And then we'll get rid of you as well. Pop you in the tavern. Choose a blueprint. Ale. Oh, um... What do you mean choose? Oh, here. Choose blueprint. Lizard house, beaver house, human house. Uh, ooh, let's do beaver house. They're almost... Where's the arrow? I guess it doesn't matter. One beaver house. Two beaver house. And then... I don't know why I've limited these. Oh, I know why. It's because I want them to make... Let's make 15. Because I want them to start making these other things as well, because I need these other things. Uh, newcomers... Five, five, ooh, let's do five of all sorts. And then what have we got here? Fine.
woodcutter's camp. Oh, I can swap these out for beavers. Put a human in there. Beavers. Okay. And what's this? Humans, humans. Alright, not. Order's ready to complete. Nice. Oh, we're storming through. We didn't even need to do go into those bad areas. Nice. So now what's happening? The world is a vast... Yeah, they showed me this briefly. <laughs> they teased me with the tutorial towns. A vast, ever-changing place. And it's, at its heart lies the smoldering city. Okay. Enter the smoldering city and use the resources you've gathered so far to buy the Obsidian Archive Level 1 upgrade. Uh, buy upgrades. Obsidian Archive. Ah, so this is where that, like, send it to the smoldering city comes in. Everlasting flames. Ooh, fundamental up. Construction. Consumption control, or I'm, let's do that one. Cool. Highest reforged seal. Okay. So this is getting into like a bigger. Oh, look, my towns are feeding into the area. This world is governed by the eternal blight storm cycle so what is so what are they feeding to the city that's what I want to know there was something there was some kind of trade route I was doing it is almost upon us so no caravans are allowed to embark press the re press the button in the lower right corner to, to finish the cycle Goal as a viceroy is to reach the ancient seals with your caravan and reforge them, pushing back the blight. The blight storm. You're almost ready to venture out on your own. Choose any map tile inside your em embarkation range to begin. So what's this? Watchtower. Oh, so, okay. So I can go anywhere. So I kind of, I guess I want to go here. Ah. Now, to embark, you must first choose a caravan that will become a foundation. Name your settlement. And bit. Okay. So, choose to, the higher the risk, the greater the reward. But beware, an inexperienced viceroy won't last long on the higher difficulties. Okay. Choose three. You're finally ready to embark on your own. Remember, there is always a way out. Experiment and adapt. May the storm be gentle on you, Viceroy. Mm, okay, well, let's, let's bring more people, I think. Yeah. More people. Embark. Interesting. I'm surprised it took this long to be like, okay, I get, well, it was a long tutorial, but to be like, okay, this is actually what the game is about. Ah, ah so carpenter and lumber. So it's almost, yeah, it's kind of not roguelike, but like. Pack of luxury goods, pack of trade goods, kiln. Ah, that's why there was overlap in what things can produce. Interesting. So let's let's just get that one for now. 
and then use nearby farm fields to produce berries and plant fibers, herb, herbs, berries, and mushrooms. I guess I want foragers, cam, jerky pottery, and so and then that. Wow, okay, very cool. Okay, cool. So let's get one of these down. And one of these down. A hydrant, purging fire. Oh, blight post. Okay, trade routes. Ah, so as my reputation goes up, I get more like stuff for the town. Interesting. Oh, I should probably put a farm there. And then Ah. Requires a small farm plantation. Okay. Stone cutters. Oof. Again, a little bit. I'm not going to say I'm overwhelmed, but. And then I wonder if I can just like pop out. Uh, only marks trees. So then we can start cutting our way into here. To do, to do. And then you can also do avoid glades except marked. Okay. Mm. Let's just do only mark trees. And we'll come into here, and then we'll come into here. Let's just start doing some stuff. Whoosh, whoosh. Cool, all right. Interesting. So what is my objective then? Just to build, oh, here we go, look. Choose an order. Objective, value of goods. Deliver three purged fire. Sell goods worth at least 10 amber to trader or trade routes. Okay, let's do that. And then this one. Uh, deliver three packed of. Three pack of materials. So, a white elixir deliver for amber. That one, I think. Let's let's find, and then we want to build a trading post. Interesting. Oh, and we want a cornerstone. Uh, three, just the right amount. Villages with the leisure. Well, that one. Harvester's camp. <laughs> I'm not happy about having to work in a harvester's camp. I just don't think these lizard guys are happy about anything. And that's not fair. They like hanging out by the by the hearth, don't they? Yeah. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, you should be here, and you. There we go. Okay, okay. Everything is ticking along nicely. LB2, unassign all woodcutters currently. Oh, interesting. 
So I wonder why I can do that. Alright, some kind of new glade, I guess. So we need goods. So I wonder if this is like, do these two traders on their way? Ooh. I wonder if these two count towards the same. Let's uh, move this guy in here. getting a lot of reputation, are we? I wonder why that is. Me specialized proficiency, specialized comfortable, warmth, passive ability, starting ability, locked, locked, locked. Okay. Uh, and then this is the warehouse. Interesting. Let's give ourselves some more room. Hey, stop it. Just clear out a little room around us. Hmm. So I guess I'm just waiting for the trader at the moment. Maybe I should pick one of these. So what we've got. Harvester camp. Stone cutter camp. Deliver ten planks. Oh, this one I can do. This one's easy. All right. I'll get that sorted in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Against the Storm. Please hit subscribe as well as that bell button so you can see when the next episode comes out. And I'll see you all in a bit.